Many years ago, a bright spark came up with the idea of the Archimedes screw. I'm here today at Pressed Flights, where they make hundreds of these screw shafts every year for various industries, including the sewage industry, basically for material handling. Now, part of this construction is actually the end pieces, and these are made now on Victor CNC's lathes. So we're going to talk to Mark and find out why he selected their machines to do this tricky job. Mark, Victor are doing exceptionally well with their heavy-duty uh, V-turn machines. You've just installed one here. Uh, this is your first venture into CNC, isn't it? It is, yes. It's, un up until now, we've been using traditional lathes. Which we can see around the machine shop. It does look like a very traditional outfit. So why did you actually start looking for a CNC lathe? Um, we started because we couldn't find skilled labour. Um, so we started to fall back with production. Uh, so we needed to look to how to alleviate that problem and one of the ways forward was an automatic CNC lathe. And, and what are you actually doing on it here? I mean, I obviously did the introduction to say, to, to uh, kind of outline what you're manufacturing here. What part of the screw shaft is the Victor actually machining? Well, the Victor machine is making all the drives and tail shafts to, that we put onto the Archimedean spiral. So this is a typical drive shaft. Um, it's got a circlet groove on. It's machined at the back to fit into the tubes where have been bored and then there'll be a keyway put along there and that'll be where the drive fits onto that. So I'm sensing here there's quite a lot of metal removal, isn't there, on that, on that part? There is. This originally starts off at 140 diameter and machines down to a 50 diameter, so it, it takes quite a lot of metal off, but very quickly. So, so on you, tell us how fast you were doing it on the conventional machines and now tell us how quickly the Victory is actually churning these parts out. On a traditional lathe with a skilled engineer, we were making one of these in around about three hours. We put it in the Victor machine and it does it in 22 minutes, 11 seconds, which is nearly four and a half times as quick. When, when it's machining, is there any, uh, I'm, I'm assuming to get that reduction in cycle time, you're, probably, you're hitting the, the part quite hard. Is there any vibration or does it just, is it like a knife through butter? No, this machine is extremely quiet. There's no noise at all. The noise comes from the traditional machines. The new machine is, is really brilliant. And with it being your first CNC, you probably spent quite a bit of time checking out what's good, what's bad. Uh, why Victor, Mark? Um, I looked on the internet and did some searches, and Victor came up at the top. And they're a local company to us. They're only four miles down the road, so it was natural to try them first. Did a, did a visit, had a look at the machine and just really got a good feeling that this could be what we wanted and we're very, very pleased with it. It's, it's, it's great. Since the machine's been in, how, how did the installation go at training? You're going to need a fair bit of that, I assume, with it being your first, first CNC. Yeah, the installation went very smoothly. It was just a case of they brought the machine in, day after Victor's guys came along, put it all in, day after it was, it was commissioned. Um, and the training has been great. They've been down to Victor and done some in-house training in the classroom and then they've come to the works and they've done some hands-on training here and now away we go. And do you think that but you've got a lot of conventional machines here, with this kind of opening your eyes to how much time you can save, is there a, is there a possibility that in the future you might go further down this route with CNC to try and reduce uh, manufacturing times? I think we will. I think now that um, we've all actually seen one working and compared to the traditional lathes, that the next progression will be the, the next step. So we don't, we alleviated one bottleneck. What we don't want to do is create another bottleneck. So um, that's, that. yeah, I think we'll, we'll definitely be looking at another CNC machine.